Well, hey, uh, my name is Mateo Hurtado, and I'm not ugly. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, think about it. I'm not. Like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> we give people who are ugly the most trouble in everyday situations. Think about it. Think about the last time you interacted with an ugly person. You thought about yourself, and you were like, um, yeah, I feel way better about myself now. And then, and then you think a bit more, and you go down your family tree, and then you're like, yup, overall, me and my fam look fly. Yeah, this person looks like yen sabake, oh. And then, you know, like a bobo, like a nobody, Ugh. Not a good time, right? You sort of avoided eye contact, kind of wished you were somewhere else. Yep. And the same goes for fat people. I mean, you know, like, we give fat people the most trouble, too. All we think about when we see them is food. Like, and then they're probably like fans of birthday cake, oh, and, and their lifestyle, and how it's wrong, and how it's not pure, and probably not as good as yours. And you think about that yogurt in your fridge, and you're like, oh, it's waiting for you. Active, yeah! Like all that, like all just kind of like, like, like you and your health, right? You and your health. Separate from this fat person you're looking at. <laughs> I mean, we all love birthday cake. I mean, fat people just love it more, a bit more than you. It's like... You know? Oh shit. And fat and ugly people? Oh my god. Oh goodness, get by body. That is like oh, disgusting. Anyways, 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 anyways. I'm Mateo Hurtado. And I'm not ugly. And you're not ugly. Look at this audience. Oh my gosh. It's like okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, Jelly? Right, Mo? Like yeah, it's, like, it's like, yeah. Wow, this shit is stressful. <laughs> I hope y'all know I only wrote the fat and ugly joke. I mean, mira esta gente just waiting for me to make them laugh. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. All right. I'm done. 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 I'm tired. I'm beat. Beat, beat, beat. Beat, beat, beat. Life without color would be 1950. Beings bleeding without pigment, numbness. It is the mathematics of the misplaced, displaced faces, digits. Simply call it 2015 demographics. Numbness. Beat, beat, beat. Life without color would be called Mr. West and hateful lyrics. Not souls with white filled holes, not pain in a relationship with grace. Speak. Please, please accompany me to my rainbow-filled days. Deviate from your nine to five bleach stains above. A life saturated by the blacks of the midnight contrast. The browns the bro of the bronze, the copper, and gold. Here, sun is radiated through the kin of our toughened skin. My life is not pain without color. It is a believer in our home. I meditate to the end of rain-filled days. Pray to the rainbows of our hearts. Beats, beats, beats. Because my soul beats, beats, beats. I close my eyes and tilt my head downward. I'm feeling down, Lord. See, I read this book filled with poems and stories from black writers spreading their word about how they're perceived in a white man's world. And it cut me deep, dark melanin, pigmented, call us pigs, dogs, monkeys. We must have an animal-like aura, uh, or something. 
I've never had to fear for my life, but after the rather rapid and recent killings of these black men, Lord, I pray for my cousins. Young, male, black, brilliant. It would be the death of me to see the death of them, so I call upon you, Lord, to help them be resilient. I pray they don't get shot while walking down the block by a cop just because they had a hoodie on his head. My head is cocked because I, in my dreams, I hear the pow, pow, pow of a Glock and I cannot take it. I shouldn't be having to pray for my family because of their skin complexion. We are supposedly all made in your reflection, but it seems the thoughts of some of your creations have taken on a different direction. They view black as a disease like, like you have given us an infection. But I know this burden of skin colors is something you have made us strong enough to carry. I just pray that one day our backs will get a rest, hoping the end of this discrimination will be something my kids will be able to attest. And this I pray, amen. <laughs>